So um, for epilepsy, the two uh, uh, procedures that we are training, which is by itself a separate training, is electroencephalography, EEG, and uh, neuroimaging techniques. We have uh, different neuroimaging techniques. We have MRIs, PET scans, SPECT scans. So we are trained in um, interpreting all those procedures. But the, the main procedure is EEG. I run the pediatric epilepsy monitoring here. Uh, we do between inpatient and outpatient over 500 cases a year, just in children alone. And uh, the main procedure we do is reviewing the EEGs and capturing the events and making the diagnosis of epilepsy because there are over 100 different types of epilepsies in children. And it is important to make an accurate diagnosis. About uh, one third of pediatric epilepsy is medically refractory. Two thirds of them are controlled on medication. So we do have one third, which is a huge uh, section that remain medically refractory. So uh, for these medically refractory children, we have non-medical treatments that are always evolving in um, you know, the, the sophisticated way to treat these patients. And I think we have come a long way in the last 20 years, but still there is a long way to go. So some of the non-medical therapies we have, we have um, ketogenic diet, vagal nerve stimulator, surgical techniques for uh, uh, pediatric epilepsy and deep brain stimulation. There is a lot of uh, advancement going on, uh, research going on across the country. Uh, name it, whether it is diagnostic procedures, you know, there's always space for improvement and better technology, treatment modalities. People are getting better at the non-medical therapies, like the ketogenic diet. There are more centers now available. I started that program at JFK about 10 years ago. All the surgical techniques, all these things are uh, advancing. You know, there is a constant need to advance these techniques. So uh, I'm very excited and I think uh, in the future we are going to be able to provide better care and it's going to be an ongoing process. Uh, gene therapy is also a big thing and I think that is where a lot of emphasis is on in big institutions where, you know, they're doing the research because we have some very, very complex uh, pediatric epilepsies. They're few in number but they're very complex that nothing works. And they are because of genetic problems. So gene therapy is something that may, uh, it's going to be a revolution.